So in the previous video, we talked about stems and leaves and also mentioned the vascular system that runs through these parts. Now, today in Homeschool Arcade, we're going to take a more in-depth look at the vascular system and the two main parts called the xylem and the phloem of plants. So let's check it out. So you may be wondering, what's the deal with the xylem and the phloem? What are these funny named things? Well, in the simplest sense, the xylem and the phloem are the transport system found in vascular plants. So if you want a recap of vascular versus non-vascular plants, you can check out this video. Now, xylem and phloem are two main parts of the plant's vascular system. They transport water, sugars, and other important nutrients, as well as materials found within the plants. Now, these materials traveling around the plant can be commonly referred to as, well, sap. You know sap. And you can compare it to a human's blood. So a plant's vascular system with the xylem and phloem carry its life-giving sap around its structure, just as our human vascular systems transport blood all around our bodies. FYI for your information. Did you know that it takes 40 gallons of sap from a maple tree just to make one gallon of syrup? And that's because when you boil it down, you got to take out all the excess water. And that means that there's just a lot of the excess water. So, like, you have like that much and then it's like that much. But let's learn some more details about the xylem and phloem. Xylem and phloem are very closely associated inside a plant and they are found right next to each other and together are known as the vascular bundle. Now, there are many of these bundles running throughout the plant's stems and leaves. Now, if you check out this diagram, you can see in plants called monocots that these bundles are scattered about. But in dicots, the bundles are found in a ring. Now, let's talk a bit about what xylem and phloem specifically do. Xylem transports mostly water, but also some dissolved compounds from the roots to the stems and leaves. Now, phloem, on the other hand, transports the plant's food, sugars, created by photosynthesis from the leaves to the stem and roots, or areas that are not photosynthetic, and therefore that means they can't create their own food. So you can think of it simply as xylem transporting things up into the plant from the ground, and phloem moving things from the leaves down and out to the rest of the plant. Now, another question you might be wondering is, how does sap move around? After all, humans have a heart which pumps and moves blood about, but plants, unlike humans, are stationary and don't have muscles or moving parts to transport their important sap. First of all, it's important to note that scientists actually are not 100% sure how plants accomplish this complicated task but they do have theories that are widely accepted. So we'll share some of that with you today. So in xylem, the theory is, is that sap moves up from the roots because of something called a negative pressure. Now, this can get pretty complicated, but essentially negative pressure is created when the leaves transport or lose water into the air through evaporation. And this water loss creates an empty space or vacuum of sorts, which creates a pulling force that pulls up the water from the roots. Now, phloem, on the other hand, moves sap, which contains the sugars from what are called from sources to sinks. Now, sources are the leaves or the tissues that create the sugars. And sinks are the parts of the plant that don't photosynthesize and need these sugars. You know, parts such as buds, flowers, seeds, and fruits. Now, it is believed that the sugars are moved through the help of osmosis. At the source, sugars are most concentrated, which causes nearby water to flow into the phloem, creating more pressure. So this high pressure sap in the phloem then wants to move to an area of lower pressure, which in this case is a nearby sink or part of the plant that is using up those sugars. So that sap flows from the source to the sink. So now you know so much more about xylem and phloem and how they work to transport the important materials around plants. 
So I hope you've learned a lot from this video on Homeschool Arcade and don't forget to click like, subscribe, and share this material with others so we can keep learning together. You all have a good one.